Hello folks, welcome to Duena Tech channel. Today I'm going to guide you how to use this e-commerce application locally and how to clone the code from GitHub repository and how to access different tutorial uh, branch and same as well how to troubleshooting some issues found by the followers. When create a basket, uh, the same basket has been is being accessible by different users. So every user should access uh, only relevant uh, basket data. So shouldn't uh, user A access user B uh, basket data. So that also has been fixed, and this issue has been reported on uh, this tutorial here when creating a, a basket. So that issue is being fixed on this e-commerce uh, checkout a tutorial. And also I'm going to show you how to access all this tutorial in one branch. So if you come back here to this uh, GitHub uh, account, this is my account here where you can access this repository, strapi-e-commerce, where we have two folders here, one for a client, one for server, and this is the main page for this repository. And if you navigate to server folder here, we'll show you how to run the server locally. After clone this locally, you need to run npm install to install the node modules. And this you need to do this only at first time. And also you need to do npm run build. And this as well will be done at only first time or whenever you did local changes on server and you don't see that reflect in your client. Uh, next step, you would usually every time do npm run develop to start the server locally. And when using npm run develop script, will uh, enable this auto reload and which will allow you to reload the server dynamically whenever you do local changes. And as well, you can run uh, npm start, so which uh, it will run the server locally, but it will disable the auto reload. And if you did any local changes, you will not see them unless if you run the start, uh, stop the server and run it again. This is how to run the server locally. And same for client. Let's just navigate back to the client. So you will need to navigate uh, after cloning the project, you need to navigate to the client directory and then do npm install. And this also only at first time to install node modules and you would do npm start script to start your server or to start your client which will be started on localhost 3000 and if you need to run the test or if you added any unit test then you will do npm run test and if you need to run the production bundles you need to do npm run build so this will give you the bundle that usually will deploy to production so you can test it locally before push it to the uh, production environment so this is the code on the repository here and so you need to clone this main branch if you need if you found any one of these selected you need to select this main branch which should be selected by default this will allow you to access all tutorials different tutorials for this e-commerce uh, tutorial so we have sub tutorials here for example this first one to build full stack uh, uh, login and product lists the next one and so on so for each individual tutorial for example if you need to get all the code for the basket you need to select this uh, tutorial uh, branch which will allow you to access all the code for the basket tutorial and if you need to access all of them so all of them are exist on main branch after selecting a relevant branch then you need to come to this code button which will allow you to clone the code using this url here with ssh uh, this is only for a certain case user but you can uh, clone it with s uh, with https and also you can download it as a zip uh, folder and then extract it locally so this is how to access the code and how to run it locally uh, next step let's go and show you how to the, the issue has been fixed for the check uh, for the basket for different users so let me go to admin panel here so if i go to the users so user tab let me go log in again go to user tab i have i created two different user one called ali and second one called john let's try use this to different user and then try uh to some data to their basket so we can confirm the basket issue has been fixed and so for example now no uh, this john is logged in let me just log out let's try login with ali and now log in as ali and if i go to the basket it's empty go to shopping let me add this hoodie to ali and add that to the basket that is added successfully and now if i go to the basket so that hoodies exist now if i logged out and try log in as john and go to the basket john basket is empty now if i go to shopping let me add 
for example, this dress here, and add it to the basket, successfully added, I go to the basket, and that's only we can see this dress, so we cannot see Ali basket data, so only John. If now logged out and tried to log in again as Ali, just to confirm this case, so each user should see only his data or her data that on the basket. So now if we navigate to basket, so this is only relevant data for each user. So this is now working as expected. And you can proceed to check out to finish the payment. And then after that, then you can, for example, I'm not going to finish the payment process because already I demo this on check out tutorial, but just I wanted to show you this. I can just go back and this will cancel. So the payment will be canceled. And also you have, you can access your uh, profile here so and you can edit your profile picture and some basic details you can add more details if you are interested and you can access your orders as well and basically this is the application for e-commerce application so it will allow you to add list of product and it will allow you to purchase a product uh, by adding to the basket and finishing the checkout payments after finishing the payment you would see your order placed in your order section so that all are working fine, but there is one more issue I'm going to show you actually you might face. So for example, when you create a new root user or create a new endpoint or update your API locally, sometimes these rule settings here will be override to default, which should be set to do nothing. For example, this basket here, if we just uncheck all of this, sometimes will be uh, unchecked after updating the root user or adding a new endpoint so let's save so it will set back to this and then when co to, when you go to the client and try to add something to the basket then nothing it will happen so let me just try add this one nothing is go there and even i'm not seeing the exist uh, basket data so if i open the inspect i will see some error on the console that say is forbidden or or, or even if i go to the network tab uh, let me just try go to basket or anything so should see just the basket data shouldn't see anything here so if it reload then the basket endpoint is returning also for buildings uh, 403 so that because the user is not uh, authorized to do this to get this data and also is not authorized to add something to the basket but if i go back to the setting and set back and enable this all so you can go to rule we have two different types of rules we can add this only for authenticated user will allow the user to do all this action and then if we save and same for the public user will can do only actually this uh, four of them will not allow the user to delete anything but if now go to the basket again reload the browser uh, clear here and now if you see that we see that data already exists on the basket for ali and same it should allow us to add a new item now that successfully we can add a new item to the basket so yeah you you might face this issue as well sometimes the api will uh, just showing the forbidden uh, error although the user has a credential and logged in successfully but still you will see forbidden so you need to go back to this rule and just make make sure our set to correct uh, setting and this same would be uh, actually for example category or order uh, if you setting any specific permissions here so this is the troubleshooting for the two scenario for uh, rule setting and one for also for the basket that uh, more than user seeing uh, same data for their basket which has been fixed as well and uh, so don't forget to subscribe to share the content and like them and leave your comment down to support the channel to uploading more tutorials and thank you for watching and see you in the very next tutorial